What's up everybody? I want to come to you today with another video for police stops. Today is show of authority stops. Now, what is a show of authority stop? A show of authority seizure occurs when two elements are in place. First, an officer must have shown some authority. An example of that will be an officer saying, hey, stop. Hey, come here. Or one of my favorites, all right, leave. Second, the person being seized must have submitted to the officer's authority. So if at some point when the officer says stop and you stop, you have just been seized. If the officer yells, come here, and you walk towards them, you have been seized. If the officer tells you to leave, you have been seized. Because understand, they are the servant. They cannot give direction if you have not committed a crime. Understand that. They made the choice to be a servant, not a commander or a master. The public is a master. They have the fiduciary duty to the public. Florida v. Bostic, 1991-501-US-429-434 states, a detention is a seizure for the purpose of the Fourth Amendment and occurs whenever a law enforcement officer by means of physical force or show of authority in some way restrains the liberty of a citizen. Basically, that's part of the amendments as far as freedom of locomotion. Anytime you are moving and told to stop moving or told to move when you are still is a violation. No one can give you instructions if you do not allow it to happen. Braylon v. California, 2007 U.S., it states, A person is seized by the police and thus entitled to challenge the government's actions under the Fourth Amendment when the officer, by means of physical force or show of authority, terminates or restrains his freedom of movement. Understand, if they are given instructions on how you should move, be still, sit down, get over there. That is a Fourth Amendment violation because it, again, accompanies and embodies the fact that they must have articulable suspicion of a crime. And a crime has to deal with damage to person, property, or them witnessing a felony which is probably going to be damage to a person or damage to someone's property. Outside of that, a crime has not been committed. Allen v. Portland, which stated, an arrest cannot take place absent the involvement in a crime. So when they threaten you with arrest without probable cause from a show of authority, stop, it is a violation of the Fourth Amendment. Understand that the fiduciary duty is to you for your benefit. They must answer your questionable questions because they are amenable to you at all times. And if they are outside of those guidelines, it is a violation. So understand, show of authority is when they're given instructions that you are complying with, such as stop, come here, get over there, leave, and you have not committed a crime. Until next time.